right, hello and welcome. Um, I'm going to do this quick little video here on some cut contour lines with some bleed. Um, I've had a lot of people ask this question, um, and I've seen a lot of it in some different groups, so I just figured I'd make a short video here. Um, may not be too short, but uh, we'll try to go into some detail here and fill you guys in. So uh, first what we're going to do is we're just going to do some cut contour with some bleed around some font. Uh, so we'll just, um, we'll just do hello. And then, so now we've got our font. <coughs> um, this is kind of how I usually have my Adobe set up 95% uh, of the time, depending on what I'm working on. But um, I usually have the appearance thing up uh, the pathfinder and then the transparency down here and the colors over here um, just kind of how my workflow works best for me um, to each their own on this um, also in this video I'm going to show you the ways that I do the cut contour lines and the bleed um, I know there are different ways to do each um, but I'm just going to show you one or two ways that I go about doing these uh, whenever I do. So when you're starting with a font, we got hello here. Um, as you can see when you highlight it, it is still a font. Um, I always like to work in actual vector. Um, so in order to turn this font into workable vector, whatever you want to call it here, um, you go up to type and click on create outline and once you do that it is now no longer a text so you can't change it or anything like that which I think makes it a little easier to work with depending on what kind of font you're working with but I always do that just for good measure so now we've got our font here so we are going to change the color of this to let's, uh, you know let's just leave it black it'll be easy to see so we've got a black hello so now what I do is there's two ways to do this. The first way that I like to do it is up here in our little appearance tab. Um, I will click on add new stroke as you can see right here. So it comes up as actual black uh, right away. So what I do a lot of times here is I will just take this stroke and let's say I make it a five. So now we've technically got our outline and our bleed, and as you can see, my blacks are two different colors here. Um, we'll just fix that really quick here. So now you can see where this little blue line is. That's our actual letter, and then the rest of this is what I would call a bleed. So you highlight it. And you can see here where we've got this five stroke that we just did. So then I will create another stroke. This stroke I will make as my cut contour line. And you can see it shows up as a five right away. I will move that down to a 0.25. And then as you can see, this now has the letter right here. Here is going to be your cut line, and then this is going to be your bleed. Uh, so if your machine's off just a little on the cutting, um, it's not going to show white on the outside of your letters. And that is how quick and easy you can put cut contour lines on font. Um, it's pretty simple process. Um, we'll go ahead and... Uh, do that one more time here so you can see from the start so uh, just type in the word hello and it will make it a little bigger here so we can see what we're doing and we'll zoom in so again you have your font I go to type create outline from here I come over to my appearance window if those windows are not up um, you can find them if you click up here under Windows and just come down and click on Appearance and it will show right up. So now we've got our font here and we've created the outline around it. So then we're going to add a new stroke. Once we add the new stroke, 
um, make it the same color as whatever your font is. Um, so if your font's blue, obviously you want to make your stroke the same color blue. Um, I usually do a 4 to a 5. It's just kind of a common thing. Again, this depends a lot on how big you're working with as well also. So, so if we do the 5 stroke, then I come down and I just create another stroke. I change that stroke to my cut contour. And then I bring it down to 0.25. And now you're ready to send this to the cutter and actually cut this. So that is how you do font. And you make a bleed around the font by itself. So if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments. And I will get back to you and answer them the best that I can. Thank you very much for watching.